Hello out there and welcome to English Future Plays. We're here with The Unexpected Quest, which is a new game. It's on Steam and full disclosure, I did receive my copy for free. And this is our opening screen and I guess we're going to be called Mr. Jacobs and we get to select an avatar. Um, I don't know. That one's pretty cool. All right. So The Unexpected Quest. I don't know anything about it, but it looks colorful so far. Um, in which our string of bad luck, a storm with pouring rain, and our adventure beginning. Alright, let's get into it. It was an abnormal storm. We couldn't save the ship. Right? We washed up on the shore, barely alive. Fantastic. Barely alive is not a complete sentence. Should be a comma there. Oh. So it's not actually voice acting, they're just mumbling. I can't see anything in this blinding storm. Maybe we should wait until morning. No time to waste. Light bonfires along the coast and gather the crew. I'll look for a path to civilization. I don't know why this can't be voice acted. Maybe it's just too expensive or something. Search for survivors. Light bonfires along the coastline. All right. Um, quest description. Right. Around us only forest. What were we to do? How could we rescue the survivors from our ship's crew? We decided to light bonfires. Fantastic. Time to get to work. Gather some food from the wreckage of the ship. Alright. I've done it. Uh, right. I don't... What are we doing? So we're removing some debris. And I guess we needed food to do that. Not makes sense I guess um, light a bonfire so you can begin, begin work here right sure we'll let a fire there hey to start we'll need to keep up our strength okay yeah oh we need more wood are they sleeping what are they go what are they going to the tent for I don't understand Right, there we go. So we don't have enough food to do that yet. But we are building a mill. So that's useful. Oh, it made some food for us. Excellent. So this reminds me of... There's a whole series of games. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but I've, I've definitely played them. I just... Uh, oof. Anyways, it's basically like click and point, point and click management. Um, and it's, you know, it's fine. Oh, we don't have enough food. Right. Let's go get this key. Let's go get this treasure. Oh, we need, the, we need a lock pick. We'll go talk to this guy here. Can we, can we, we can't talk to that guy. I guess we gotta open up, we gotta do some other things first. Right, we'll go light the the bonfire, and then these guys join us. Right, come on. I found all five of them. Are you sure? Oh, cancel. Fine. Let's go pick up the other stuff. I guess I don't. Is there other stuff to pick up that doesn't seem to be? Right, did we get a lockpick from somewhere? I... So we got a strange helmet. Great. Okay. Attention everyone! We're headed to the village! Alright. So we're headed to the village. Let's rock! Let's go, let's go to that village. Alright. Man, I really wish there was voice acting. That guy looks cool. I like his mask. Alright, let's play the next one. How did he die? Why are we walking over his corpse? Did I miss something? Did I miss like a, a cutscene or something? That seems weird. The whole village is fighting them hammer and tongs. Okay. Those dudes are cool. I like these guys. They're cool. Um, they've got like the cool weird neck and stuff. And 
Yeah, judging from that screaming, most of the battle is taking place in the south. Sure. Yeah, I'd love if this had voice acting. I think, I think if this had voice acting, I would be like, I would be like over the moon about it. I'd be like, this is really cool. As it is, I'm kind of like, eh, it's pretty okay. So far, I'm having fun. Um, I definitely wish there were voice acting. Oh, the entrance to the nearest barracks had collapsed just when we could have used the help of the local soldiers. Sure. Yeah, more work. All right. Free the village, battle comrades. Um, oh, so there's more exposition here. They must have been looking for fresh brains in the graveyard. What is going on in the world these days? Right. All right. So let's do some stuff. Sure. Uh, I guess we help him. Climbed onto a pile of fruit. We came upon an unexpected scene at the mill. A farmer was standing on a pile of crates. A fruit, great, uh, is not the best weapon against a brain muncher, and he was simply angering his attacker even more. Inquired as to what was going on, and the farmer said, Brian's such a bonehead. When he saw the zombie, he climbed up onto the fruit crates for some reason. All right, so we got to attract him. Oh, we got to attract him, sorry. Sure. So we got to attract him. Oh, so what was it? What just happened there? I don't. Okay, I don't. I don't know. Let's go get this soldier so the soldier can help fight. Click on the zombie to order the freed swordsman to attack. Sure. And uh, we can't do any of that. Hooray! We are the best. So now do we go, we go here and collect our reward, I guess. So we got a bunch of stuff. Great. And now we can break down this stuff. Oh, we got to wait for, for the path to be found. Uh, mill. All right. We need, we need more wood. Uh, sure. So we healed the soldier. You can hire soul. Sure. All right. So we did the thing. Good job, us. And he'll get that. And he'll go fight the zombie. And they can build that. Um, so you can only have them fight one at a time. Right, we want a key. Nope, alright. Uh, what else do we need to do? Can we move the map or anything? No, it's just, this is the view we've got. This is not a lockpick, that's straight up a key, I'm just saying. Right, go deal, go, go open this treasure chest, man. I got a lockpick. There we go. So it seems like there's just an order of operations that you have to do. And that's fine. Yep. Right. And we heal the soldier, and then they go fight the zombies. And then are we done? I mean... I guess we go pick that up. And go pick that up, and go pick that up. And what do we... Wait for the swordsman's return. How do we... Oh, we gotta... We gotta free this guy? Wait for what swordsman return? Alright, we'll get some more food. Sure, what is this guy? So do we... Yeah, he wants us to talk to him. Alright, let's talk to him. Gather together and head back to the forest! Oh no! All right, I can I can do that. I got your back. What's happened? We had just finished here. Are these twins? Yeah, there's an enormous zombie horde coming from the south. We're no match for them. Right? Let's go then, I guess. Yeah. 
The sort of Sims talking and stuff is fine. That guy's dancing. Why is that? That guy's doing a weird dance. Why was that guy dancing? That was so weird. Yeah, why was that? The, the monster was dancing. That was super odd, but that's fine. Here we go. We're into the next chapter. Chapter three. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. Looks like we made it. We need to look around and decide what to do next. Sure. I don't want to press skip because I don't know if it skips the text or if it skips the whole cutscene. I recognize this place. Vindabor Castle is in these mountains. Sure. Huh. I don't want to climb any mountains. What are we even going to do at the castle? Uh, I don't know, man. So we get to make some bridges and stuff. We can contact Amber, our home. We need to warn everyone of the danger. Sure. Yeah. It is decided. We're going to Vindabor. Time to climb some mountains. Yeah. I'd love for there to be voice acting. That's my main that's my main thing, right? Yeah. And some more reading to do. Right, this chapter is larger than a single screen. To move the camera is wazzed. Got it. Sure. Oop. What? Oh, I was trying to exit out of the screen, but that's fine. Alright. Oh, we're gonna clean that up. Where's the where's the food at? Nope. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Continue. Right, so that's the market. I don't... Right, so we can choose some stuff. Sawmills. Right. I don't... So that gets us wood. I guess we wait for wood to happen and then we sell it. All right. And we still don't quite have enough. But so this music is uh, is a weird uh, version of Pirates of the Caribbean. Dun 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 Great. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I can't... I guess we just keep buying... I guess we keep trying to sell, uh... Keep trying to sell wood. That seems, like, very slow. Right. Because we don't... There's not enough food, and I... We can't get enough food. Maybe we're supposed to save up. Wood? I don't know. Maybe I won't sell the wood. Maybe I'll wait for the wood. I don't... Uh, I really don't know what we're supposed to be doing. So, I guess we'll wait for more wood to happen. And rather than selling it and trying to buy food at the market, which is what I was gonna do, I guess we'll save it and try and build a thing. Oh, this is very slow. I guess I wasn't supposed to sell the wood, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward. I'm, this is very slow. I'm fast forwarding.
right, so we finally, uh, we finally beat this level. Um, and now, oh, we better go, we go, better go pick all that stuff up, because, um, I'm pretty sure it goes through to the next level. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure if we, like, put all this stuff, what was that one? Air shield, right. Pretty sure if we put that stuff in the chest, then we get to take it to the next level. I'm not, I'm not totally positive there though, um, but that is what we're gonna try and do. We'll see what's in the next level, and then uh, we might go look at the description. It's dark here. Mind that step and be careful of the bald rug. Dun 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 dun. I am enjoying the uh, the bard core version of Pirates of the Caribbean. It's interesting. Oh, I didn't find the treasure. Whoops. Alright, let's see if we got to keep our stuff. Or if I should have just been using it all the whole time. Um, so the game's... It's okay. It's a little bit slow. Um, it's not amazingly action-packed, but it's fine. We can definitely contact Amber, right? Yes, we can. I'm sure of it. The communication sphere worked well on my last visit. Excellent. Let's... The castle looks like it's been abandoned. Exactly how long ago was your last visit? One thousand years. Let's take things one step at a time. First, we need to find a way in. See, here's the problem that I'm running into, is that we, we get a shot of the people for long enough that they would actually be able to voice act it. Um, so... And then they're not doing the voice acting. That's just a horror, horror. So either the parts where we're looking at them need to be shorter, or there needs to be voice acting. Um, we gotta find the communication sphere and activate it. All right. So did we get to keep our stuff? We did get to keep our stuff. That's pretty cool. So incentivize us us to not use all of our things. Right. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. I do like I do like this and now we can move around. Oh gosh, it's a very big area. Where where are we meant to go? Oh man. Okay, so the game is starting to sort of opening up now. So this is going to take this level here is going to take a long time. I get the feeling that the games start to take longer and longer and longer. Ooh, that's that looks dangerous. Cool. Right. The music is exactly the same, though. It's still just that Pirates of the Caribbean bardcore theme. Um, let's go look at the description. Let's go see what the description has to say. Okay, the unexpected guest. Oh, sorry, the unexpected quest. Adventure game with strategy and management elements in a medieval fantasy setting. Draw an inspiration from classics such as Warcraft 3 and The Settlers. Embark on quests, hunt down treasures, and manage your resources as you build, battle, cast magic, and brew potions to bring order to the world. Uh, developed by Ryonix and published by P-Cube Limited. It currently costs $13.19. It's probably a little bit more than I would want to pay for it. Um, but I did get mine for free. Uh, but yeah, I think I'd be happy if I saw it under $10. Um, yeah, we already read that. Strange creatures living in different locations await you. Some of them will help you, others need your help, and others will take a liking to your head. Or rather... Your fresh brains! You will visit quiet villages, snow-capped mountaintops, impenetrable forests, and foul-smelling swamps. But one thing will remain the same. Adventure awaits you everywhere. Alright. Uh, you can gather resources, build, go questing. Alright. Yeah, there were some quests, I guess. Fight. You can get much further with a kind word and a, and a sword than you can with a kind word alone. Hire experienced soldiers, upgrade their armor and weapons, fight and conquer. Whoever said the pen is mighty and the sword has never been on the receiving end of a claymore. Cast spells. Yeah, so we did we did all that. So we did all the principal things in the game. So I think we've, we've got it pretty covered. Um, it's very bright. It's colorful. It's this top-down thing. And I'm, I still am spacing on that. There's like a whole series of these games that are like... There's like maybe 10 of them or something. And I'm pretty sure it's like... Uh, it's Hercules... And his twelve, the twelve labors of Hercules. That must be what it is. Hold on a sec. Aha! 
I found it. The 12 Labors of Hercules. That's what this reminded me of. And there's like three or four of these games. And they look like this. They have the same sort of colorful thing. Um, and you, you click and you send your dudes to go gather things to clear pathways so you can get to the end. It's the same exact kind of uh, gameplay. And it's not the same developer, but it is the same kind of gameplay here um, as the Unexpected Quest. So that is interesting. Yeah, 12 Labors of Hercules. I, couldn't, I just couldn't remember what it was. I've got all three of them. Um, it was like when I was first starting my channel and I, I covered them for some reason. I don't remember why. Let's look at Ryonix as... Oh, it's P-Cube. So, oh, Warborn. I think I... Yeah, I remember playing that. That was pretty good. That was pretty fun. I liked that one. Um, what else have we got? So this is P-Cube Limited. This is the, the publisher, not the developer. Um, Cat Quest 2. Oh, yeah. Um, cool. What was that one? That one looks interesting. White Day. A labyrinth named School. Oh. Well, it looks weird. That's fine. Um, so, the Unexpected Quest is a game. And it's like 12 Labors of Hercules. It's all about clicking and stuff. Um, and it's sort of about time management and kind of, I don't know, it's got that, like, just trying to get to that next spot each time. Um, and I guess the trick is, you know, finding the secrets and doing it as quickly as possible. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So if you're looking for a game like this, like 12 Labors of Hercules, this will scratch that itch. It is a little bit pricey for my liking, but, um, yeah. It does all the things it says it's going to do. It's bright. It's colorful. I wish it had voice acting. But other than that, yeah, click on the link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, like and subscribe to this channel. Leave me a comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Class dismissed.